or good afternoon, wherever you are, it actually, whatever time zone you're in, uh, I'm Samantha. I'm otherwise known as the Tweeting Goddess, and I am delighted to be here with Indiana Gregg, who is the founder and CEO of We Do. And you may not have heard of We Do yet. So, um, Indiana, welcome. Tell us a little bit about We Do. Well, thank you, Samantha. Hi, Hi I'm Indiana Gregg. I'm the founder of We Do, like Samantha said. Um, and We Do is a startup. And basically, we're a bank, so we're regulated in the United States and in the UK and in Europe. Um, but we also offer a seamless SaaS so that people can onboard their clients, do a live room with them, and take a payment instantly. So you can take subscriptions or you can uh, bring on your crowd and have a scheduled room and take pay, you know, get take payments for like tickets to the event. Um, and it works similarly to applications like Clubhouse and um, uh, Spotify's Green Room. But the main difference is, is we are video and audio, so you can have the option to show or demonstrate, share your camera, share your screen, have a second docu camera if you're teaching something to a live audience. Um, and then you can record and put in your, your stuff in the marketplace so it's evergreen or use it on other, um, other sites. So basically, it's free. The calendar and printing just like Zoom, and uh, you get the payment situation where you can take a payment, bank it, and then they issue you a debit card, and you deploy that money or transfer the money to your bank account. And uh, it's basically a, a system for people who um, you know want to start their business and there's no barrier to entry uh, with the paywalls that you have everywhere online because there's no need for those you know there's ways that you can make money um, as, a, as a platform without exploiting people or running ads and allow people to actually do business and run their business so that's what we do what we do and why why do you think it's so important well i know why actually just by even listening to you it's like you know it's so hard to get paid sometimes and um we had a perfect example of that ourselves you know about like you know how you know you have to go oh yeah can you i just have to raise an invoice and i just have to do this and then i have to get my virtual assistant to say you know whereas it's a really fast way of getting paid so it, you know it's uh the whole idea is, is to kind of look after freelancers that maybe that delay can stop them getting paid because someone could change their mind in between. Is that the idea? Yeah. So the idea is you can also onboard somebody and say you're having that first call with them. You can instantly send them an in invoice by slapping a sticker on, on the video. They can push a button and it automatically will generate the invoice that you pre-populate. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for you to not have to chase payments and you can set a date on it and actually get that person to, you know, put their debit or credit card in and then that payment's released once you've served them. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, it's instantaneous that that money's blocked when they book you and you have less, uh, you know, paperwork to do at the end of the month, you know, every month. Well, that sounds brilliant to me, especially for freelancers and consultants and people like me that would work online. Um, so people watching and Anita, hi, thank you so much for joining. Um, so for people who are watching, um, you're, you're not launched officially yet. We're just kind of introducing you to the world today uh, just to give people a, ta a taste. Um, but uh, we do, can they actually sign up as a beta tester or what way does it work? Yeah, they can, they can sign up as a beta tester. You just go to we do dash app.com right now um, and for the first 1,000 users we are doing an evergreen never have to pay um, spotlight and it's also good uh, considering the the amount of backing that we have it's, just, it's also you know I, I, it works as a social network to an extent so it's always good to be on a platform early and we're trying to incentivize and also pay people when they bring on their own clients and pay people when those clients open an account with us. Uh, so it could be really interesting for those first thousand users that we onboard when we go live. Oh, I'll be one of them. Um, so I'm going to put the link. So it's we do, hang on, it's uh, <laughs> we do dash app.com. Is this correct? I will just put it at the bottom of the screen just so people can see it. Yeah. 
and they can yeah, follow you right. on Twitter as well. Um, so, okay, so so really for you, Indiana, you know, tell us a bit about Indiana. Like, where where are you based? Or you know, for people who don't know you, I know you have a lot of followers on Twitter. <laughs> well, we're um, we're we're based in the UK. We're a UK company. Uh, we also have a US branch, uh, a Delaware company. Um, I'm originally from the United States, but I've lived in Europe for the past 30 years. Um, and so I've been in tech for 25 years, uh, building people's apps and prototypes and websites and UXs. Uh, and I spent um, four years studying the freelance market and actually being a freelancer on sites like Upwork. And the, the real pain points that I see is, you know, some of these sites, including Upwork, take 10% commissions on the money you earn for the first $10,000 that you make per client. And that's a lot of money to eat away at a freelancer. And a lot of coaching sites um, and the models that are presented, you're spending hundreds of dollars each month. Yeah. Yeah, your your um the Wi-Fi. So the 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 Wi-Fi broke up a little bit there, but yeah, I mean a lot of people might not be aware of of you. I know you're only starting to kind of use Twitter yourself <laughs> because we actually met on Clubhouse. Um, if anyone knows social audio, we met on Clubhouse myself in Indiana, and um we've been in touch ever since. But um Twitter, you know in particular there are a lot of freelancers on twitter and consultants and people who would be you know this would be so cool for them you know to make sure they get paid on time i know a lot of small business owners who offer services it would be great for people like that as well so if they if they do want to sign up do go to the website and just become a beta tester and um is there anything else in the pipeline i know you have a you have a podcast as well is that right do you have a youtube yeah we yeah, we have we do underscore HQ. So if you want to follow we do, um, it's we do underscore HQ on Twitter, on Instagram and on YouTube. Um, we're also on Spotify and all the usual suspects, SoundCloud and all those guys. Okay, cool. And um, I know that Indiana is a, a huge supporter of women in tech as well. So definitely, if you're watching and you're a woman in tech, definitely follow Indiana because she herself is 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 very inspiring and a cool woman in tech. And I think it's it's great to kind of promote. You know, you can't be what you can't see. So we'd love to see more of you on Twitter here, Indiana. <laughs> yeah, true. I, I've I've been trying. I've been trying to tweet. It's it's hard. I'm I'm, a, I'm an introvert, so I'm not, not that social on social networks. Other than Clubhouse, I, I find I find like um, video and audio a lot more appealing you know, to actually speak to people rather than yeah but, um, yeah yeah. But Twitter yeah. Spaces is coming along, so you know I yeah. have to have to think about it a little bit more and get more involved in being a social socializing, especially. Well, I have to say, um, you, like you are, you have been a supporter of Women's Inspire Network as well. And um, we have our conference coming up on the 13th of October. So, you know, you're going to be a sponsor on that as well. So, you know, we are delighted to support. We do. Um, we know you have a really international team as well, don't you? They're all in different countries, you know, so it's been hard for you guys to meet, obviously, with the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We have a, a David. He's in Silicon Valley in Palo Alto. He's um, our chairman. We we're getting ready to announce. So he's been working with us day and night. He was the founding CFO of PayPal, of course, and he was treasurer of Silicon Valley Bank. And we had Dan, who came from City. Uh, we have Kirsten, who's done extraordinary marketing in, in her past life and now. And yeah, some really, really sharp, amazing uh, tech people, wonderful CTO, and Ann Singh. So yeah, we've got a pretty awesome international team of all, all. And you've races. even got someone in Scotland. You've got someone in Scotland as well, which is closer to me. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll meet at some stage. At least we had some interesting accents on the calls. <laughs> Lots of accents, yeah. <laughs> well um well thank you so much for your time indiana i know you're crazy busy i know you've got lots of uh, stuff lined up and it's nice to kind of show people a little bit just a little peek into we do and then when you launch we'll definitely do another interview like this so that people can get to know you better and uh, get Absolutely. to know we do better yeah well thanks for thanks for having me on here samantha i appreciate it
You're welcome. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. And uh, do check it out. It's uh, we do and we do dash app dot com. If you want to check it up, uh, check it out and sign up for the beta and look out for it. Definitely look out for it. I think it could be a game changer, folks. So thank you so much, Indiana. Have a lovely evening. Bye, everybody. Bye.